Alright, hi guys. So today I want to talk about my senior crafts. I'm G. Um, so today I just want to touch base with um, all of the symptoms. Um, so I'm probably going to do each a video for basic, like, a video for treatment, a video on symptoms just to get the awareness out. Uh, so, breathing difficulty. So, I told my neurologist not that long ago that um, I've, alway, I've always questioned my breathing. There's a lot of times I'm laying down at night and um, I like try to catch a breath or um, I'm just like off. I'm breathing. I know that's weird, but like, I always question it. Um, difficulty chewing and swallowing. I always choke on my saliva. I choke on water. It doesn't matter what I'm eating. It doesn't matter what I'm chewing or swallowing. I choke. It's, oh, it's annoying. <laughs> um, difficulty to climb stairs. So I just um, within the last four months, five months, I've noticed a difference in um, the stairs that I have in my house. Like, uh, it feels like I'm climbing Mount Everest. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, well, not really. Um, difficulty in talking. This is a big one for me. It's very, very awkward. Mm. <laughs> uh, you can only I can only laugh about this stuff because I'm going through it all the time every day drooping position of the head hey <laughs> uh, yeah I know it's a lot of times people I noticed on uh, I'm on a couple forums on Facebook and all my MG snowflakes out there are awesome and um, we're all like working so hard to get awareness out and I'm newly diagnosed I got diagnosed on April 16th of 2015 so uh, I'm also still learning everything but I'm still trying to get awareness out um, but what I was going to say was drooping position of the head a lot of people um, like their neck is bothering them um, so they are constantly like holding their head up and um, because of that reason. Change in voice. I, for the longest time, have always joked about my voice and um, I always say, oh yeah, my manly voice, not realizing that um, it's MG. <laughs> and my, my um, neurologist had told me no, 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 like, I don't hear it, and then I call to make an appointment for plasmapheresis to help my myasthenia gravis, and she tells me, my goodness, I can hear the myasthenia in your voice. So that just kind of, like, opened my eyes a little bit, and I kind of cried a little bit after I hung up the phone, and, um, yeah. So... One thing that is, um, all, it seems to be on the fence, is um, the numbness and tingling in, in your face. The doctors say it's not MG, um, but I hear a lot of patients, a lot of people with MG say that they have it, and I have it every day. Now, it could be that I need to take... Uh, make sure that I take vitamins every day, but I still get it even when I take vitamins. Um, because when he had run my blood, I was low on folic acid. So and he's like, that could be a lot, a lot to do with your numbness and tingling in your face. And so, but it's so weird. Um, fatigue, um, fatigue is on the list for sure. Um, now this is the big kicker. This is how I was diagnosed. Weakness and eye muscles of eye muscles. Um, so, um, 
that's how I got diagnosed um, in November of last year. My right eye started to just shut. My eye's always been a little droopy, especially at night, but all of a sudden it started to close on its own. And so when I told my doctor that, he knew right away that it was MG. Anyway, um, so those are the symptoms. Um, there's more than that, but those are bas the basics and obviously muscle weakness in arms and legs and um, it affects your ability to walk. So, um, all right guys, um, thanks for watching, thanks for listening and you'll see me again, bye.